So uh, we're headed to we're headed to James Lee. He's only about seven minutes down the road, which is cool. And he got like a foundation find where he like could stick his hand in between the brick wall and the freeze board, which is a pretty cool spot. So my goal is to show show you guys, you know, the homeowner, home buyers, or homeowners, or home inspectors, whoever we're talking to, <laughs> um, show them what foundation issues look like. So be a good find. So we got James Lee and John Howe in there. John Howe's our trainee, which is awesome. He's a, he's a little over halfway done, which is cool. Uh, and what we got here is a flipped house. And what they do is they come in, they put new floors in, you know, new kitchen, paint everything this nice white color. And they're like, we're good. Well, what they forget to do, or they just don't do it because it's so expensive, is fix all the major stuff. And man, this is a really great example of the problems that we have in Houston. We're, none of these contractors are licensed, so they can just kind of do whatever they want. So right here, uh, we have a freshly painted house. And if you look at it, you know, it somewhat looks okay. But if you get even closer, what happens is, you know, these free, uh, freeze boards here, they just saw freeze board. Yeah, freeze board. I can do it. <laughs> I know my terminology. So we got our freeze board here and you can see, I could stick my hand up here in the gap. And that's sign number one. So what I like to say is to really call out foundation failure, you need three signs of movement. So, you know, you have the, the separation between the freeze board and the exterior veneer, which is sign number one. Sign number two is gonna be really hard to spot because what these guys did is they came in and it's really, it's really kind of hard to spot here. But if you, if you come in here, this is freshly patched and painted, but they repointed the mortar to hide the deflection cracks inside of the structure. And then coming around the corner here too, you have fresh wood all around this window and they reframe the window. So there's no signs of movement here, uh, which is kind of hard. But really what our final side is, is James Lee is gonna shoot the zip level inside, which he did. And he saw that the, the floors were dropping in this area. And then also in this side of the attic, James is gonna crawl over there for us and get a video. But uh, there's the rafters are completely split all the way through. So there's a lot of stress on the property in this area. So really great find. And even as like a first time home buyer, you don't know what foundation issues look like. This is what they look like when they're covered up by the, the flippers, which is pretty cool. It's a good, this is a good one. I'm glad he posted that picture so we could drive over here. It's so close. If you're looking down the angle of the brick, we try to do this with the camera multiple times, but it never seems to work, but you can see there's an actual wave through the brick and that's another sign showing you that you know hey something something's going on here oh geez there's a giant hole and water coming out of the ac unit another good one so <laughs> hvac fine oh so that's actually the uh the secondary but uh james also said the primary is leaking into the attic as well but man this this area doesn't help foundation you know excessive moisture invites termites you always want to terminate your your condensation water away from away from your structure. Come on. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> oh, nice. That's embarrassing. <laughs> All right. Okay, so um, get on the roof again. What the flippers do, they make it really look really, really nice on the inside and they don't take care of the major stuff. So we'll do a quick scan of the roof in this area, but you can see there is heavy granule loss across the ridge missing shingles you actually have holes through the roof over here and then you got holes in your lead jack flashing and stuff so you know this is just a quick scan i know we already hit the roof issues on the other one but that's what they're doing all across houston is these flippers are making it look nice first time home buyers cheap house it looks nice but they're going to end up with like twenty thousand thirty thousand dollars worth of work of things that actually need to get repaired foundation roof hvac so you know, this is, this is, this is, uh, not fair to them. <laughs> That's why you hire a home inspector, right? Yeah. So, um, in another spot, it's actually kind of, it's pretty faint hail damage, but if you look across the roof in this, uh, this direction, you see all these little dinks all over the place. They might get lucky and they could maybe file a claim, uh, or have the, the home seller file a claim for, for, um, for hail damage because it looked what you need is about 10 dinks and 10 square feet 
uh, to get a hell roof claim in the in the Houston area. So might be something to look into. I'm not an insurance adjuster, so if I am wrong, just drop a comment. Tell me I'm wrong. You know, I just I just give advice when it comes to you know a failing roof, and this roof is coming close to the end of its life. If they wanted to, they could come in and do some touch ups and get a maybe seven more years out of it, but it still it still needs repairs immediately because it's going to be leaking. So uh, we're always adapting and overcoming in this industry. So this is how I'm going to get in there. Uh, Isis probably can't follow me, but uh, uh, James said that there's some. Yeah. Oh, look at that! Look at that fancy duck system right there. So uh, we're gonna get up there and uh, take a look at the HVAC system. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Here, you should actually record me crawling up in this. So, so another thing I recommend: don't do this if you are like over 200 pounds, because like I'm a I'm a I'm lighter than most. Oh, it is. It's all separated and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. No. All right. So crawl into the attic space over here. Um, you can see. Oh, look at that. Is that active? Yeah. It's just cool in the attic space up here. Yep. All right. So we have our own personal AC up here in the. Uh, AC, uh, so you can see that they didn't fix the ducts work, duct work 100%. But also, James said um, that there is signs of an active water leak over here. So let's see if I can make it in this direction. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, that's a good one. So yeah, this is something that will show up on the infrared camera. So this is our one of the biggest problems in the Houston area is uh, these galvanized water lines. And you can see they're already having problems in some areas. They've been replacing it with PVC where it's been failing. And this, you would definitely don't even touch this. If you touch this, water would just go everywhere. It might even be a good idea to turn the water off to the, the structure. And you can see all the old duct work, not suspended, not lifted, and it's, yeah, it's, oh, look at that, splice wires over there in the corner. Sounds good. People like watching people fall down. All right. All right. Not today, guys. No phone today. All right. This is a, yes. Fancy fine right here, you know, proper electrical work. Right next to our fancy light fixtures. Yeah, so uh, what James Lee's doing here is he's taking zip level readings and of the structure, so it's nice. And that's, what, did you get a drop up there in the front corner? A raise. A raise? A raise. Well, that's not much. I wonder if they did a leveling and they just kind of left the damage in place. It's kind of hard to tell, but enough to, for us to call out to, to the home buyer to. So you got a drop, a raise, and a drop, so it could be a little tilted. So we're getting about a 1.6 inch drop right here, but with the carpet difference, it's probably another half an inch. So you're getting about a two inch drop from the middle to the back side. Yeah, so you got a raise in the raise front, on the very front corner. And the drop in the back. Right, yeah, so we obviously have some issues going on here, so we're gonna let the homeowner know about the foundation as well. So, so that's why we like our fancy tools. We're not just saying saying, hey, this may be bad. We're actually proving with our zip level that it is bad. So that's it's good fun. Yeah, so what we're pointing out here is you can see how the, the wall uh, is smaller at the base here and if you come up closer it's about an inch and a half uh, two inches by the top that it's actually leaning out of place so it's a, another good spot nice spot James okay that was really good we had two houses back to back both are flips so the first flip was just you know kind of okay it was, but this is the second house here it's obviously a flip and it's by those flippers that are just trying to get the most squeeze out of their dollar, if you would say. All they did is come in here, lay floors, patch, paint, 
and didn't fix any of the major components. So if you are a buyer and you're buying at the top of your range and you come across a home that looks freshly flipped like this, make sure that you look around at the major components before you move further on in your transaction because if these major components are bad, these are things that you're gonna run into later down the line because the Houston market is so hot right now, they're not even gonna to wanna to negotiate with you. They have so many offers put on this house. So you, you wanna make sure that you have enough money to fix the items like the roof, the HVAC, the plumbing coming into it. So hope that makes sense. Uh, so that's good. So if you like these type of videos, please hit that like and subscribe button and catch us on the next one. See you guys, bye.